Sustainable development, as defined, is a development that meets the needs of the present generation without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. This flagship project, MTR, is one such project and investment that aligns with our sustainability and, e and equity goals for all stakeholders and our vision, which reflects the convergence of innovation, sustainability, and responsibility as stakeholders in the gold mining sector. As I provide an account of the heritage, the social and environmental opportunities, and MTN's transformational leadership team accomplish accomplishments over the past months and into the future. In a world increasingly driven by rapid change, the choice we make today determines the future we leave behind. This project, centered around remining gold tailings, isn't merely about reclaiming precious metals. It's about reclaiming the land, restoring the environment, and creating opportunities for future generations. It presents our commitment to sustainable development and ensuring a legacy of stewardship for our communities, environmental ecosystems, and the economies we touch, our heritage. It also speaks to our responsibility to those who call this land home, Mohali. As a nation, we recently celebrated Heritage Day on September 24th. It's only fitting to acknowledge the heritage of this proud city called Mokali at this opening. Mokali wa Mokali, 1810 to 1869, was a remarkable Sutu Tswana Nkosi of the Bopaba tribe in Mokali, in the western of South Africa. Mokali reigned for almost 50 years, displaying exceptional military leadership and diplomatic skills to resolve conflicts with neighboring tribes and to pave the way for the prosperity of the Bopaba Mokali tribe. In his legacy, he is honored by the Mokali city local municipality in the West Rand district of Kauteng, as well as the Mohalisberg Mountains, the town of Mohalisberg, and the Mohalis River, all, being, all bearing his name, Mohali, being a variant of Mohali. This leadership imperative of enabling a safe, peaceful, and stable environment for all stakeholders to prosper informs our initiatives in combating illegal mining activities and organized crime that have plagued the West Rand. The MTR project allowed Pan-African to implement an integrated and multifaceted security model in our area known to be a hotspot of lawlessness and high levels of serious crime. With the assistance of the company's specialized third-party security service providers and the support from the local, provincial, and national policing structures, we have improved the safety and security in and around our new footprint in Mohali. We hope that the strategic and operational relationships built with the South African police services will grow over time to improve the safety and security of all the communities in and around MTR project and ensure favorable social economic condition for all stakeholders. This project exemplifies the essence of, e of ESG and sustainable development, balancing the challenges of the local conditions between economic growth, environmental preservation, and social upliftment. MTR's social impact. As we embark on this journey, let us remember that sustainable development is more than, is more than about economic viability. It's about integrating environmental stewardship and community empowerment. The communities of Mohali and, sur and surrounding areas have and will benefit economically from this opportunity. 
promoting and supporting cleaner environments, healthier ecosystems, and safer communities. During the construction phase, the MTR project positively impacted the lives of the West Rand community, creating 1,361 jobs in general, semi-skilled, and skilled occupations. Of this, 748 were employed from Mohali. Our ambition at the start of the project was to create 500 jobs during the construction phase. We far exceeded this target and have, impact, and have impacted the livelihoods of many local community members. MTR's inclusive local economic development also benefited close to 44 contractors, many of whom were local suppliers of services and goods for the project's construction. Service providers included women, youth, and historically disadvantaged persons enterprises that provided earthworks and civil construction services, land rehabilitation, overland piping, carbon in leach tank building, plant hire, and transportation. The MTR Human Resources and Social De Department has passionately driven social change in our host communities. Some of the beneficiaries are the Masupa Sulu and Mafasa secondary schools where MTR donated desks, chairs, and consumables for the preparation of the 2023 matric year. MTR has also assisted the Ellen Glenn Children's Center donating 10 custom design wheelchairs, consumables, and repairs to the center. We will continue the excellent work through MTR's social labor plans in alleviating poverty, creating employment, and developing health and education infrastructure for our communities. MTR's environmental impacts. The global landscape is changing with investors, consumers, and, govern and governments demanding greater accountability from mining communities. Previous owners and mining act activities have severely scarred the environmental landscape of Mahali. Pan-African and MTR are currently rehabilitating the negative environmental impacts of the past. We have ambitious targets of cleaning remediating and restoring the Mokhali landscape to its former habitat. We completed 122 hectares of land rehabilitation during the first year and will continue the program over the next seven years to reach 534 hectares by 2030. The land rehabilitation projects have employed 80 local community members as part of the community skills development, 65 local community members were trained and certified in alien vegetation removal. By leading with sustainable practices, we ensure our place as a responsible corporate citizen and leader in sustainable gold mining in South Africa. We show what is possible when economic growth, environmental care, and social change are prioritized. Gold mining was once considered a sunset industry, but our organization makes gold mining sustainable through courageous leadership and innovative technologies. As we prepare for the operations on this transformative project, I ask each of you, our, our stakeholders, partners, and leaders, to consider the bigger, page, the bigger picture of sustainable development and the collective change we can foster and promote for this project. Let us remember that our actions shape the world we will inhabit tomorrow. With the MTR's leadership, both vision and unwavering commitment, we can ensure that our efforts in Mokhali will resonate far beyond our immediate sphere, creating lasting value for our planet and its people.